The history of consciousness studies is rather interesting. I define consciousness as awareness, having conscious feelings, perceptions, awareness of the sur your surroundings or your inner feelings or memories. So we think that under normal circumstances that we're having 40 conscious moments per second. And it appears continuous to us, much like a movie screen. A movie appears continuous to uh, someone in the audience. Uh, but it's actually a sequence of discrete events. Now, we know from meditators, monks who, who meditate, uh, Buddhist monks that were selected by the Dalai Lama, actually, um, were measured in Davidson's lab. And they went from the 40 hertz, 40 conscious moments per second, up to 80. And people under... Uh, um, uh, certain psychedelic drugs, for example, like ketamine, a dissociative anesthetic, go from 40 to 80. So they're having more conscious moments per second, probably more intense, and it would seem that the outside world would slow down if we're having more conscious moments per time. So I think consciousness is a sequence of discrete events, of moments, normally under, uh, uh, about 40 per second, but they're actually happening in the brain, in the, in the neurons, inside the microtubules, at the quantum level, going down to the fine scale structure of the universe. This means, according to Penrose's work, that our conscious minds are connected to the most basic level of the universe at the, in the quantum world.